Ryan Cole, it's time. Wow, it came on fast. The Mountain West Cross Country Championships are upon us. Did it come up this fast to you guys? Yeah, the fall always seems to go pretty quick. You know, you're in the middle of the summer, excited, looking forward to your cross country season and getting the team back together and getting into the school year. And yeah, pretty soon you're at team camp and talking about the season and the momentum coming off the summer and looking forward to, to getting into a little more race mode. And then pretty soon, yeah, you're in the championship season and uh, yeah, it's kind of the home stretch. So it does go by pretty quick, but I think that's a, a good thing. Makes it exciting. We'll break it down, uh, male and female. Let's let's start with ladies first. Um, uh, Tell me what you want to see from your team. Obviously, in the Mountain West, there are some really elite runners on the, on the ladies' side. How do you combat that? And is, uh, Just tell me what your thinking is and what you tell your team. Well, we've become elite ourselves, and that's always our expectation. And when you look uh, in the recent past, uh, we've had teams and individuals that have been right in there, um, not just competing in the Mountain West, but competing with the best in the country, and that's something we always want to do. Uh, I think when you look at this particular group and the race we have coming up at the conference championship, uh, it's really going to be seeing if we can be closer to the team that we know we're capable of being. You watch the sessions the girls have had, you watch how they train, uh, how they work together. And so we, we know where our groupings are at. We know who can run with this person or that person or these three people can be together. And so we've seen outcomes in, in competitions so far where this person will have a really strong run and maybe these people aren't with them like they were in this last workout or whatever. Uh, and so, you know, and it always kind of shifts a little bit. So we're, we're trying to have more of our group um, have the day they're capable of having all in the same race. And I think we're very close to that. And if we're able to accomplish that, I think we'll have a very positive team outcome. Awesome. And the men, as far as on paper, people are, people always look at paper, unfortunately, <laughs> and they'll say, oh, OK, Air Force is one of the favorites in this. I think that's fair. Uh, but I think once the gun goes off, those rankings in the paper, that, that goes out the window. And there are four very good teams in our conference, and, and I anticipate it's going to be a very uh, close, closely contested race. Like it's going to be tight, and, and so I think whoever executes the best uh, really has the, the advantage there coming out um, in a close contest like that. And I think if we execute the way we're capable of, we're going to be a tough team to beat. Uh, if we don't, uh, we might be a little bit easier <laughs> to beat. You know, I don't know, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but at the end of the day, very similar to the women. We, we know what our personnel is. We know how they're running, uh, the level they're running at, uh, what they're capable of. And if we have a group of guys where the strong majority of them run to their potential on the day, we're going to have a very positive outcome on that front too. For both teams, is it the fact that you've had the experience against really, really good teams that gets them prepared for this? Because it seems to me like every year you go to the nutty comb, you go to you go to the elite meets on the season. Does that do you? Is that why you do that to get ready for this? Well, partly. You always want to have a regular season that prepares you to be successful in your championship season. But if you want to see how successful you can be at any endeavor, you need to go and seek out the best competition and then compete against them. And so at the Air Force Academy, we believe that's important. You know, we, we don't want to just measure ourselves against another service academy or against another in-state uh, school or a conference rival. We want to seek out the best competition in the country and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. And if the, the cards are there, we want to beat them. And so that, that's something that we work very hard for and we're very proud of our, our track record of success. But uh, we always want to seek out the best teams and, and see how we stack up because we strive daily to be an elite program and we're, we're very proud of what we've accomplished so far, but a lot more to do uh, this season. Yes, yeah, certainly. Uh, you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Mountain West this weekend. Good luck. Thanks for stopping by, Ryan. Thank you.